What's up, YouTubers? Johnny DIY here. Today we are going to be using the old rug doctor. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so you can get all my new videos. All right, guys, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do to the carpets and rugs we're going to be cleaning is going to vacuum them. We want to get them as clean as we can before we use the rug doctor. All right, so we're going to want to heat up some hot water on the stove. Not actually boiling, but we're going to want to get it real hot. This is going to help get the carpet extra clean. Almost like a professional carpet cleaner. That's how they get them so clean. They have high heat and steam. If the water is too hot, we'll just go ahead and add a little cold water to it. We don't want it boiling. We just want it really hot. Alright, here's just a little before action. Let's see the stains. It's pretty dirty around this cutout right here. All right, now let's get to work. So we've got our soapy solution set up on here. Now when we run this, we're gonna hold this button down. That's gonna release the water when you're holding that button down. So this first pass over the carpet, we're gonna hold down the red button so the soapy solution does all the carpet. And we're gonna flip on the power button on the left for carpet, and if you have the tool attachment, you're gonna click it onto the right. Go ahead and get yourself some earplugs because this thing's loud. So the second pass we're just going to be running the nice hot water that's going to pull out all the dirty soap because soap's going to attract the dirt if we leave it. Alright so once you're out of uh, solution on this one this little light will come on so we'll just go ahead and uh, We'll put the handle down, hold this right button, that's the clean tank release, and then we can take this out and refill it. Alright, and for the dirty bucket, we'll just go hold this one right here, and then we can release the dirty bucket, and let's go drain that too. And we'll just unscrew this back lid on the dirty one. You can just go ahead and pour this solution. I just pour it outside, but you could pour it down the toilet. If you had to pour it inside, I'd pour it down the toilet. It'll clog up your plumbing. All right, we'll just go ahead and snap that dirty one on, and we'll just snap the clean one on. Just lower it in, it snaps right in. All right, now the second time through, we're gonna run it through with the water and hold the button down for the water. But uh, you saw me. Now you can use this thing back and forth like this. I find it easier just to pull it, and then if you get stuck, you have a really dirty spot. Then you can kind of go back and forth on that spot to get it real clean. Alright, now we're done with that second pass of just water. Now we're going to run it through, but we're not going to hold the button. That's just going to pull up all the extra moisture out of it so it'll dry faster. Okay, so now we've got it as dry as we can with the machine. We've pulled out all the water. We're going to want to turn on some fans, as many fans as you have. If it's summertime or spring, go ahead and open all your windows. If it's fall or winter, go ahead and crank your heat up and leave the fans on. You're going to want to get this dried out as soon as you can, within a day usually, so no mildew develops or any sort of weird smells like that. So really crank up your heat if you need to so these can get dry. Also take advantage when you have this thing rented to go ahead and do any area or throw rugs that you have and get those all cleaned up. You're going to want to get some carpet and stain remover and we're going to pre-treat the areas that have any stains or like this spot. This is the lightest part. I'm going to try and get this as light as I can. So just go ahead and let it soak for a few minutes. I found that on areas you really want to get clean, it's best to use the rug doctor and come at that area at multiple angles so it can get into those carpet grains from every which way. See with the combination of that carpet cleaner and the rug doctor, look how much lighter we got that part of the carpet. Okay, now before you return it, make sure you go ahead and clean out this uh, dirty tank real good so the next person doesn't have to smell your stinky old carpet. Alright, now here it is all clean. It's just about dry now, but that's it guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell so you can get my new videos. Alright guys, thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself. Take care.